Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 horror trip. A film that is written and directed by Neil McCain. It stars Akasha Villalobos, Major Dodge and Peggy Shot. Now the film focuses on um, Asa Akasha Villalobos' character, Ali Larkin, who along with her husband, Michael, lose their teenage daughter right at the beginning of the film through she commits suicide. She obviously is devastated by this and is really struggling to move on with her life. She's, she essentially becomes a shut-in. Um, her husband is trying really, really hard to cope. Um, and then she is approached by um, a psychologist, I believe it is, um, Jane, uh, Jan Rollins, who offers her some support in the house uh, and gives her the opportunity to communicate with her daughter she gives her like this liquid and says if you drink this it will open up a portal to the other side and you'll be able to get the answers that you seek and you'll be able to you know get closure by seeing your daughter and speaking to her so any grieving mother is going to jump at that chance even though she's a rational person she, i think she's actually a therapist herself this um the grieving mum ali but obviously she goes for that she drinks some of this stuff and then guess what she starts seeing and experiencing things that can't be explained and things begin to escalate from there right what are my thoughts on trip right well there are aspects of this film where you feel like you're watching a soap opera um, and not like a highly polished one either. This is this is a low budget film and the whole thing takes place in this house where she lives, which makes sense because she's a shut in basically. Um, and your first impressions when you're watching this film, the first five minutes or so, you're kind of like, oh, I think I'm, I'm not sure about this because the production values aren't there and um you just not sold on it and um, but it's one of those films that does actually the more you watch it kind of get under your skin a little bit now that's not to say that i think this is you know um an incredible watch and i'm going to highly recommend it or anything because i don't think there will be some audience members that will watch this and maybe you know really get it and have the patience to watch it and there are others that I will watch it and will lose patience immediately because it's not kind of giving them what it says on the tin. It advertises itself as a horror, this film, but it's very light in horror. Um, there are a couple of scenes thrown in here and there. You know, the usual, you know, bloody body in a bath. Uh, a few jump scary things here and there. And uh, the last five or ten minutes get a little bit intense, I suppose. But I would, I would, str I would struggle to call this like a horror. It, this ain't going to scare you, not really. There was a point in this film as well where I actually, I actually thought, and I like it when horror films do this, when they kind of um, play around with psychological horror. Uh, I, so it could actually be another meaning. It could, could be mental health that's causing these sort of things which would, you could completely understand when you bear in mind the, how much he's grieving. Um, so I thought it was kind of going to go down that sort of route or that path. And while it didn't kind of fully commit to that, which uh, kind of disappointed me a little bit, if I'm honest, it still, it kind of went down a more traditional, well, this is, this is what we said it was going to be, so this is what you get it almost. So it didn't give you any real surprises. I think the major plus for this film is the performance by akasha and i want to get a name right akasha villalobos who plays ali i mean a fantastic performance i thought she did really really well as this grieving mother looking for answers um trying to build a flat fractured relationship with her husband played by major dodge who also i thought was very good as well but i think that this film really did belong to um akasha she she put in a really committed, um, very, very watchable performance. And she made the film, actually. She made it much more watchable for me. Sometimes you'll watch a low-budget film with complex themes like this one's playing around with. And if the performances aren't there, you immediately are disengaged with the film. Well, the performance is absolutely there here with this film. So that will certainly draw you in as an audience member. 
Um, beyond that, though, I think a lot, I say a lot of people will probably lose patience with this one because the pacing is so slow. Um, it just kind of keep you guessing a little bit as to what is actually going on, but ultimately, when everything is revealed, it's a it's a little bit of a uh, letdown, I suppose. And it's not really explained in regards to there's this entity that is supposedly, you know, was involved in her daughter's death. And this is what you mean. This is what I mean in regards to the film. You're not sure what it's playing around with. Is this entity real or is it her mental health? Well, so on and so forth. And I'm not going to say either way what it kind of is or it isn't. But there's this entity that isn't really explained particularly well. Um, and also there's other questions that the film raises. You know, she's a therapist herself. I know she's grieving and everything, but there's this therapist turns up at her house, tells her to drink this drink, and she just doesn't question it. It just seemed a little bit odd to me, you know what I mean? Um, especially when these odd things start happening. Um, so it's a bit of an odd one, this. It's not a bad film. I just don't think it fully delivers on what it's trying to be. It's trying to be a horror, but it's just not particularly scary. Um, even though there are a couple of moments here and there. It's more of a uh, light horror, bit of a thriller, bit of a drama thrown in for good measure. But it's a decent idea, and like I say, the performances certainly make it watchable. So I'm going to give it um, a 5 out of 10. Um, I did watch it. I was engaged throughout the whole thing. But I do think um, if you're going to watch this, watch it with uh, a little bit of caution. Just be... Don't be expecting like blood, gore and scares every few seconds because you're just not going to get it. You're going to get something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.